Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the Newmar 2021 London Air. So this is a gorgeous coach. Just check out that front cap. Beautiful paint job. This is the Ravina exterior and the Ravina interior. So I'm super excited to show you. Let's talk about some of the standard features for 2021. First of all, you have the 360 camera, which has been upgraded this year. So you have even better visibility um, when it's darker and a crisper picture. And so I'll point out those cameras as we go around the coach. We also have the mobile eye lane detection system that's now standard as well. So Newmar's packing this coach full of safety features, going to keep you on the road enjoying the RV and lifestyle. Now when you look at this front windshield, you'll notice how big and beautiful that is. It's also mounted automotive style, so you don't have a big rubber gasket that goes around the windshield and you don't see the windshield wipers. So I love that Newmar tucks those in behind the cap. Not only does that protect them, but I just think it gives it a really elegant, luxurious look. We have the diamond shield on the front cap. That's going to protect our beautiful paint job. We've got our exterior chrome mirrors. So these are internally controlled. They have defrost and you can, you can internally adjust the top mirror, the bottom mirror you have to do out here on the side. Also, we have our side view camera in the mirror as well. So when you put, turn on your blinker left or right, you're gonna be able to see again the full length of your coach. It's great to be able to have that view when you're changing lanes or just seeing if it's safe to change lanes. So we have three ways that we can get into our coach. Obviously the key, then the key fob. And the key fob is nice because we've got the lock and unlock for our entry door. We also have the lock and unlock for our cargo door. So you can do that from right here. And then we've got our keyless pad here. So this is really nice if you wanna let a friend in while you're away, um, someone to you know let your, your pets out while you're gone or a service technician, you can give them your own unique code so that they can get into your coach easily. Then I also love Newmark gives you the doorbell. I just like to have, I like to know that everyone inside can hear me when I'm out here, so I, I like that feature. And then the beautiful grab bar. Not only do you have a great grab bar here on the outside of the coach, you've got two when you go in the coach. So when you're entering or exiting the coach, you're going to be safe. The London Air comes standard with the Michelin 365 tires, which is great because that gives you a wider tire, more tread on the road. It's gonna be a nicer, smoother ride. We also have the Alcoa Durabrite rims. So you do not need to polish your rims, just wash them and you're ready to go. Now, while we're at the tire, something I want to talk about that's super important, I won't drive a coach without it, is you need to go and watch my video on Retroband. Retroband is exclu sold exclusively by National and RV Centers, and it's a spare within your tire. If you happen to have a front end blowout, you're not gonna have that extreme drop. When your tire blows, you can actually, it actually sits above the rim. So you're gonna be able to drive on it to get to the side of the road, to get off the exit, to get to safety where you can get the help that you need. So speaking of safety features, we have the 360 camera, we have the mobile eye, we have collision mitigation and adaptive cruise control. Another thing that they give us is this steel plate, which protects the fuel line. So you have that on both sides. It's right behind your front tires. And again, it's just peace of mind. Love that Newmar puts that extra detail into their coaches. Okay, this is a great place for you to look. When I talk about Newmar does paint better than anyone else, you go ahead and just run your finger down the side of the, the wall here. You don't feel any transition from one color to the other, and that just means that they've put that extra detail, extra coats of clear, fabulous paint job. Um, <clears throat> here is our fuel fill for the passenger side of the coach. This is 150 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can fill from driver or passenger side. Our first docking light for the passenger side, and our first marker light. For 2021, the London Air has larger windows. So check out the beautiful windows. So they're the dual pane, frameless, uh, tinted windows all the way around the coach. And then we added the optional kitchen window that you can see here. Point that out again when we're inside the coach, but it's just gorgeous. Another option that we put on this London Air is this stainless steel package. So if you look across the bottom of the coach, you see that beautiful stainless steel, just makes your coach look so nice and, and very luxurious. 
All right, in our first storage bay, we've got our Dometic freezer. Now this is a new model for 2021. It's really cool because we now have two compartments. So if you wanna have one be a freezer and one be a refrigerator, you can do that. You can decide what you need more. You're tailgating, you may wanna use them both for drinks, but it's really nice that you have that option this year. So this is our pass-through tray. Now that's an optional feature, so we actually put the powered pass-through tray in, and that's really nice, because you just push a button, and all of your goods just come right out to you. And I'm just gonna go ahead and extend it the full length so you can see how far it comes out. It's gonna come out the same distance on the driver's side as well. So it just makes it really easy to get to your supplies and your goods. Then I like this feature too. It's got a little flip down lip. So you've got a heavy tool chest or a cooler or something in there. You can just slide that right off. So that is a great feature. You just wanna make sure that you put that back and shut it before you bring it back in. All right, another feature that Newmar listened to their customers and they were putting in a lot of these shelves after, after market or after the uh, customer had picked up their coach. This goes right to the bottom of the chassis rail. So this gives you about one foot, 12 inches, um, where you can store your goods until you hit the, the chassis rail. And then from, just to let you know what space you have here with the power pass through tray, you have about 17 and a half inches of clearance. And that goes to the bottom of the chassis rail to the bottom of the tray. So just above our storage compartment, we've got our exterior, optional exterior TV. We've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports in there as well. The Bose soundbar and our 43 inch Samsung TV. This is on a swivel, so I can bring it out and direct that wherever I need. And then new for 2021 is there's an optional, you can, there's a tilt, so you just have to push a little lever inside your TV cabinet, and then you can adjust that tilt. So if it's a really sunny day and you've got a strong glare coming and hitting your TV, that little tilt is amazing. It will really take care of the problem. You'll be able to see what you're wanting to view on the TV. All right, we have optioned in another power pass-through tray. So this one's a little bit wider. Again, we can pull that out. Super easy. And we also added the extra tray above the shelf above that. Now, Numar has given us some extra tiles in case we ever have a problem with tiles. We've got some extra here. And then we've got the hoses for our central vac. On this London Air, we've optioned in both the HD satellite and the in-motion satellite. So you can see the splitters, splitters for both of those units right here. So if you look over the top of the coach here, this is our second camera, which contribute to that 360 view when we get to the dash. Then we've got our passenger side security light, which you can turn on um, just above the captain's chair and in the master bedroom. So if you hear a noise at night, you can go ahead and flip that security light on. All right, so this is a nice big compartment. It is 44 inches wide and 33 inches tall. And if you wanna just peek back in here, we've got the um, high definition camera system. So that's where all the four cameras are gonna come in together to give us that 360 view. Then we've got the tile heat controller that's gonna um, work with the silver leaf, interface with the silver leaf system for our in-floor heat. And then we've got the bedroom slide out control. To the side here, we've got our two Gerard awning uh, controls and then two 110 outlets. And here is our central vac and this is where we'll change the filter. Not only we change our filter here, but this is also, you can take your hose, connect it here, vacuum out your uh, storage compartments or pull your car right up next to it and vacuum it out. In our last storage compartment, we've got our kind of tool chest area. We've got places where we can take oil, coolant, DEF, or we can hang tools in here. Just a nice little area that Newmark gives you um, where you can hold some of those supplies that you need. On the other side of that, it's gonna be your fresh water tank. All right, then we've got our marker light, our second docking light for the passenger side. Those are super important, especially when you're coming to the campground at night, picnic tables, rocks, poles. They're gonna help illuminate those for you. Then we've got our tag axle. So this is a passive stair tag axle. You can always tell that. I kind of uh, liken it to belly buttons. <laughs> you've got indies and outies. 
when your tag axle matches your front axle, when they're both have the um, bolts on the outside like that, it's a passive steer. So this year with Spartan, they're giving you a 17 degree um, wheel cut, so you're gonna have a tighter turning radius. Here we have our 15 gallon DEF fill. So that's for the passenger side. You can fill in the driver's side as well, which is great at the truck st stops. Um, DEF is our diesel exhaust fluid. Um, one of the things you want to remember is it does have a shelf life. It's usually only good for about a year. It doesn't like heat or sun. So if you know you're going to a camp, to a park for, you know, three, four months, I wouldn't fill your DEF until you go to leave. So you don't want that getting gummy on you. If you get bad DEF in your system, then you're going to throw uh, weird error codes, your in engine error codes. Just above the DEF, Spartan has given us the emergency suspension fill. Now that's in case your airbags are not filling. For some reason, this is a manual uh, fill where you can, you know, kind of gives you another option where you can fill them. And just to the right of it is a cord you can pull there to bleed the moisture out of your air lines for your air brakes and your suspension. That's something you should do before each trip. If you check out my RVing 101 series, part one, I go through my whole pre-trip checklist, something that's a must for RVers. Now to the all important chassis batteries. Chassis batteries are very easy to get to. Right below them, you've got the power management system uh, for the back end of the chassis. So if you have a tail light that goes out, something like that, that fuse is gonna be right inside that power management system here. Then we've got our disconnects for our batteries. These are super important and very easy to get to. If we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National and RV centers where you're always plugged into 50 amp service, you don't have to worry about cutting off power to those batteries. Um, it's great, but if you're storing your coach somewhere else where you're not plugged into 50 amp service, you make sure you turn off those disconnects to your chassis batteries so that you don't have any parasitic draw on the batteries. We've got our engine air dryer. This does need to be changed once a year, at least once a year, and our fuel filter for the engine. The London Air comes with the beautiful Gerard awnings with the Nova pitch. So we also have a remote control for those. Another thing that comes in that package is you get the Gerard slide toppers, the Gerard power window awnings. Those are all nice because everything's powered. You don't have to get the little metal stick out and try to loop it through the loop. Um, so it's really nice. On, to note on the um, Gerard slide toppers, Numar mounts those to the side of the coach. So as they extend, you have a nice taut awning. And that means you're not gonna have water pooling in those. And those are some little bristles that wash, um, you know, that kind of dust off that awning as it goes in and out. So it's really nice. So we have our Gerard awning control. So we would just wanna hit the unlock and then we can take out one awning alone or uh, I like to take them both out together. So you just go to zero and hit out and both your awnings are gonna come out together. You can stop them at any point and then continue. So you can bring them out as far as you want. And we have the LED awning lights. So you just hit those on and off right there with your remote control, super easy. Just above the chassis batteries, we have the vent for the dryer, which on this floor plan, since it's a walk-in closet, the dryer is gonna be in our big master walk-in closet. All right, make sure you notice this beautiful rear cap that we have on the London Air. Now in the middle of it here, we've got our third 360 camera. It's gonna give us that nice um, bird's eye view at the dash. And then we've got our, again, this sits on the Spartan K3 chassis. It has the Cummins turbocharged diesel engine with a 605 horsepower and 1950 pound foot of torque. So your horsepower is what's gonna get you up the mountain. Your torque is what's gonna keep you there. With that, you can also tow 20,000 pounds. So again, you've got that stacker trailer, um, put all your toys in it, couple cars, you're gonna have no problem towing that behind you. Now Spartan's also given us the safe haul line here. That's an uh, airline for our uh, tow vehicle. Spartan's given us this um, safe haul tow brake. Then we have our seven way for our lights for our tow vehicle. We've got our hitch and we've got the prep for the camera if you want to add that if you um, on your stacker trailer. 
And then we have the beautiful Numar mud flat below. And the engine exhaust. All right, let's go ahead and check what's behind the rear cap here. Nice big engine compartment here. We'll just start over here. We've got our engine coolant. That's where you're going to fill it. And you're gonna check it right here before every trip. Then we've got our quick connect for an airline. So if you watch my RV, RV in 101 series, you can see how I use this big compressor that we have with our diesel engine to air up my tires. So I walk through that whole process with you. Then we've got the engine oil fill and our engine dipstick is right back here. Really long. <laughs> we've got our hydraulic oil for our power steering. And just below that, we've got this little device here. This is what makes the beeping sound when you're in reverse. Um, I don't recommend that you disconnect that, but that, that's where that is. Then we've got our secondary fuel filter for the engine. Just above that, we've got our engine block heater. So if you're up north, super cold day, you wanna warm up the engine, this is where you would come back here and plug that in. Then we've got our uh, transmission fluid here. This is where you'd fill it and check it. Just below that, we've got the Oasis Hydronic Heating Module coolant. And then back in here, we've got our filter minder for our engine. So you need to make sure you change that once a year. But when that yellow uh, bulb goes up to the top, that means it's time to change your filter. And then we've got our engine air cleaner here. So the air comes in through the vented area on the corner of the driver's side of the coach, comes into the system, this cleans the air and then it goes into the engine. All right, here on the driver's side, we've got our side radiator. First of all, you just saw as we were back at the engine compartment, you have accessibility to all of your servicing needs back there at the engine, so that makes it really nice. Then you're gonna bring in the ambient air, the cooler air for your radiator so your radiator fan doesn't have to work as much. And then another thing that you wanna do with your radiator is you just want to uh, Maintain it by just gently cleaning it, you know, every once in a while. Take your garden hose, just put your thumb over it, gently squirt that off. Just keep it clean so that it works more efficiently. Just above the side radiator here, we've got the door for our emergency egress door. You can see that you can only access that from the inside of the coach, but it's very easy to use. You just open the door, take off a front panel, and then telescope a ladder down. Very easy to get out. You'll also see that they've split the window this year and you have a, you can open that window as well. Then we've got our fill for our DEF on the driver's side of the coach. And we've got a little compartment here. This is for our Stinky Slinky. So we've optioned this coach with the uh, SantaCon Macerator, but if you also wanna carry a Stinky Slinky in case you need to do a gravity dump, you can keep that right there. It doesn't have to be you know in your wet bay making things Dirty. So I like that they give you a compartment for that. Then we've got our docking light and marker light. And this is the exhaust for our Oasis heating module. All right, so they have redesigned the wet bay for 2021 and I think it's gorgeous. First of all, we have the stainless steel panel with everything is nicely labeled, very easy to see. We've got the filter, water filter for the coach. And we've got, here's our line that you would winterize with and we've got the winterizing instructions again something you don't have to worry about doing if you store with us at national indoor rv centers another great reason to store with us at national indoor rv centers is since you don't have to winterize you can use your coach year round you don't have to about worry about winterizing then dewinterizing to store it with us and then you can come and get it take it out whenever you want to use it also, it's nicely lit with LED lights in the wet bay compartment. We've got a spot here for our paper towels, which is always nice after you've done all that dirty work. We've got our shower. Look at that beautiful stainless steel shower now. We have a hot and cold. And then I really like the new shower head and hose. The other hose always seems like it was, I don't know, harder to move. This is just really nice. Works easily and has a great place to just store away here. We've got our pump fill for our fresh gray and black tank. We have our sewage rinse, and we have our RV SantaCon on and off. And then we have our fresh water fill, and it gives you the different labels of how you wanna direct that um, lever when, when you're doing different things. All right, then below here, we've got our 
sewer hose here for our RV SantaCon system. And we can just thread that through here. The nice thing about that is not only do they give us hose here, but they give us a little stopper here so that we can keep everything air um, critter free while we're all hooked up at the campground. I'll just show you easily how that works. Put that through here, and then that's gonna stop anything from coming into your coach. I just like that they always think about that. Now, if you needed to do a um, gravity dump, you would just disconnect a clear elbow here, connect your sewer hose, and then you've got your T-valve here to do the gravity dump. Always remember when you're dumping your tanks, you wanna do your black tank first and then your gray tank. I go through all of this in our RV 101 series part three, where you can see me hook up everything and then part four, I take everything, I put everything back away. Uh, then we've got our hot, cold, um, and our tank rinse. We've got our low point drains and we have our fresh water hose here. Again, we've got that nice little seal there so nothing gets into the coach when we're hooked up. And then my favorite part, the power reel. So just goes right back in. And when you come to National Indoor RV Centers to take delivery of your coach, we'll go ahead and hook up the filter for your refrigerator water. On the driver's side of the coach here, we have our driver's side security light. Again, you can turn that on um, just above the captain's chair and in the bedroom. And then we've got our fourth camera for our 360 camera. And just below here, we've got our 50 the amp shore power cord. So you're just gonna go ahead and extend that. Again, Newmark gives you the nice little seal there because we wanna keep all little critters out of our coach if at all possible. I typically like to have a cloth that I hold around the cord as I reel it in so I can just kind of wash it off as it goes in and just keeps everything nice and tidy inside the coach. Then back here, we've got our SureGuard automatic transfer switch. I also recommend that you get a surge protector either at the pole or we can install one for you inside here at National Indoor RV Centers, which I highly recommend because then you don't have to worry about the one at the pole ever getting stolen. We also have a connection for our table input. We also have optioned in a 30 amp outlet for a stacker trailer. All right. So here is our Asus Hydronic Heating Module. This is what's going to allow us to have continuous on-demand hot water and it's also going to be the furnace once we drop below 40 degrees. And we've got our pass-through tray. So again, we can go ahead and extend that. It's going to come all the way out just like it did on the passenger side. And then we've got the flip lip here as well. You're going to notice as I bring this door in to shut it, it's going to raise. So this is a slipper hinge door so that when my slide's extended, my door can come out easily. If they're not gonna hit each other, it just gives you a little bit more clearance. Our second pass-through compartment here, again, powered as well. It's gonna extend all the way out. And then just inside this door, we've optioned this coach with the solar package option. So you have four 100 watt solar panels. And just inside here is your charge load controller for the solar panels. All right, now we have the all important house batteries. So, got them on a pull-out tray. And we've got the eight AGM batteries, so they don't need to be maintained. No maintenance required. They last about five to six years, and when you do need new batteries, come to National Indoor RV Centers. Marker light, docking light, fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. And then let's go up here. We've got our exhaust for our 12,500 watt Onan generator. Here is the, we've got, we've given this little squeegee here for our front windshield. We want to keep that nice and clean. And um, we do have that hot water line up to the generator area that's going to help us so we can actually wash that off with hot water in our little squeegee. And it's got a little nice little spot for it. So here we have our power management system for the front end of the chassis. So if you happen to have a powered seat that's not working, this is where it will be. 
Ben and Newmar are always so good about giving us the spare fuses so that when we need them, we've got them right there. And then this is our generator hydraulic slide. So you just need to have your coach in accessory mode and aired up. So you just push that button to extend your front cap and generator out. All right, so as we come around the front, let's talk about what's inside here. All right, just inside the front cap here, we have our wussy horn. That's what I refer to. It's like the horn that you have in your automobile. I wanna make sure I have my air horns on, which are right here. Then we've got our hot water line to this generator area up here. This is great that Newmar gives you this. So you just hook up your hose right here, then you've got hot water to wash off your front cap. Remember, even though you have diamond shield on this coach, you wanna get off all the bugs that you can once you're at your campground, just because there are some pesky bugs that will try to eat through that diamond shield. So we wanna protect it at all costs and then go ahead and wash off our windshield so we have a beautiful view while we're in the campground. We have another quick connect for airlines. So again, you can use that to just blow up the pool toys, the kids' balls or stuff, or you can use it um, to air up your tires. Then we've got the fuel oil filter for our Oasis hydronic heating module and the windshield wiper fluid. All right, so here is our 12,500 watt Onan generator. That's gonna give you more than enough power to power everything inside that coach. But if you happen to um, flip the breaker, this is where you would turn that back on right here. You can also start and stop your generator. This is gonna give you your generator hours, and this is gonna be the coolant for your generator. Now, you wanna make sure that you service your generator, and we can do that for you at National Indoor RV Centers every 150 hours. Here is the oil fill for your generator and the oil dipstick. Here's the hydraulic system for your hydraulic jacks, your hydraulic steps, and your full wall HWH hydraulic slide. All right, one of my favorite features of the London Air is the HWH steps. And you can only get this in the London Air, Essex, and King Air. So I have had a lot of people jump up to the London Air just for these steps. There's a sensor on the front and on the bottom of the step. So if I just touch it with my leg, it's gonna stop it. Or if it hits a curb, it's gonna stop it. Again, that sensor's right across the front and on the bottom of the step. But what's so great about it, and I stopped it before it came fully extended, is that I do not have to like haul myself up to that first step. I don't have to put another little um, entrance baby step, you know, a manual one that I take in and out and storage my um, storage compartment because this will almost come to the ground. So it's really easy to get in and out and I love it for that reason. Now as I go into the coach, there's just a couple of buttons I want to talk about before I get inside. First of all, we've got the lock and unlock for our storage compartment. So just right inside the door and our battery disconnect just right inside the door. So I can hit that as I'm leaving the coach or hit it back on as I'm coming into the coach. And again, great grab bars on the way in and on the way out as I go into my London Air. Now let's go inside and check the rest out. All right, so we're just about to my favorite part, which is the interior. But before we get into the living room and the floor plan specifics, um, this is the 4579 with the walk-in closet. So I'm anxious to show you that. But let me show you what we have space-wise and storage-wise up here in the cockpit. So first cabinet, we just have a nice bit of storage there. As I shut that door, you'll also see that we have our smoke detector. And then this is our SkyPro Wi-Fi wi Ranger. So this you can add a card to your cell plan and you can make your coach a hotspot just like you have a hotspot in your house. So that's a nice feature. That's an optional feature. We always put it on our coaches at National Indoor RV Centers. And we have a nice little cabinet here for storage. Then we've got our 43 inch Samsung TV. And then we've got our kind of power control center for the whole coach. So I'm gonna walk you through this whole cabinet. One of the main changes they made was they changed the whole interface here for the silver leaf system. So it's more up to date, looks great, and more user friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the very top of this cabinet. Super important button. You'll see that that's your HWH master reset switch hold. And if you need to reset your HWH, so that means your jacks, your HWH step when you come in the entry door, or your HWH full wall slide, 
that is where you'll reset it. So say your slide doesn't come out all the way, you're gonna wanna press and hold that button for five seconds to reset it. Um, another thing that's really cool, Numar thought of everything once again, is that right when you walk in the entry door, there's a round circle um, below your battery disconnect and the cargo bags. And that is the same, it's another reset button. So say you're outside the coach, your steps don't extend, you can just reach inside, hold that button, let it reset, and then your steps will come all the way out. All right, so let's start at the top here. We've got one free 110 outlet. Then over here, we've got our WineGuard Traveler um, HD satellite. So this means that we're gonna have HD in the campground, not in motion, that's an optional item. Then here we've got our three-stage deluxe control charger for our solar panels. So this is an optional item. Uh, this Mountaineer comes equipped with four 100 watt solar panels. You can also push this button here to light up the display or if you push and hold it for 10 seconds, you can reset the amp hour meter. This is our wine guard over the air antenna. So you're just gonna hit, the, turn it on and put it in search mode. Even inside the building here at National Indoor RV Centers, it's gonna search and it's found eight channels. This is another controller for our Gerard awnings. So you can turn the light on here, you can lock them, unlock them. You can change the channel. So that would just bring out one awning. This would bring out the second awning, not together, but if you wanna bring them together, you just break it to zero, put them out or in or stop. Really easy to use. Here we have our power driver side window awning and our passenger side window awning. These are amazing, they're awesome because they're powered. We don't have to get the little uh, metal rod to try to loop the hole in your awning and pull it down and secure it. Powered awnings are the bomb, they're awesome. <laughs> then we have our driver security lights. So our driver side security light, our passenger side security light, driver's um, privacy drape. So that's here to the left of the driver, the front privacy drape. So that's gonna be the whole front windshield here, the door privacy drape, and the passenger pipe privacy drape. We have our entry door awning light, so we can turn that on and off here, and we can extend and retract the awning door awning here. We have our driver slide out control, our passenger slide out control, our exterior LED lights. These are the lights that are underneath our slide rooms at, in the evening, it looks really nice. This is your exterior entry step. So once you get to a campground, you don't wanna keep that extended, so you wanna turn that off so it doesn't go in and out every time you open and close the door. This is the switch for your Wi-Fi router, and this is the switch for your optional satellite system. This is a plug where your technician can plug into the Silverleaf system and communicate with that and help diagnose problems. All right, so this is the all new display for our Silverleaf system, which is huge. This been a, has been a long time coming, so it looks much more um, up to date and current. This is our home screen, so it's gonna give us the levels of our tanks, our freshwater tank, black water tank, and gray tank. Also it's gonna give us a reading on our house batteries and our chassis batteries. And uh, we're, right now we are plugged into shore power. It's letting us know and it's showing us the amps on each leg. This is our AC power. Again, it's showing us that we're pulling 11 amps on leg one, nothing on leg two. And our Mark Max charger draw is 30 amp and our inverter is in standby mode because we are plugged in right now. Okay, so this is showing that our max charger draw is 30 amp right now. You can adjust that by going to load shed. So say we're here at capacity, we're at single phase, so that means we're plugged into 30 amp power and I want to run an AC. So right now, all 30 amps are going to charge my batteries or they're in a bulk charge um, state. So I want to go ahead and take that down to like 10 or five, that's all that I want going to my battery. The rest I want to use to run an AC. Uh, now if I'm in dual phase, so I'm plugged into 50 amp service, I've got 50 amps coming in on each leg. Again, I want to be able to, I don't want all those 50 amps going to charge my batteries. I want to run my all three AC units. So I'm gonna take it down to 20, 25. That way I can run two AC units off one leg and one AC unit off the other leg. And then we've got our capacity for our generator and that's always at 50 amps when you're on the generator. All right, so our inverter. So we have a 3000 watt pure sign inverter on the Mountaineer. 
it's in standby mode be because we are plugged in right now. But an inverter does three things. It converts AC to DC, DC to AC, and it charges batteries as needed. So it passes current through and charges the batteries as needed. All right, then we can go to DC power. So you can see that we're in absorb mode right now because our batteries are almost charged. And we have the generator here. So this is where we can start and stop our generator. And we can clear the locks. There's locks in the setting of the auto gen start. So I'm gonna go to auto gen start. This is where I could change some of those settings if I needed to, but right now it's enabled, so it's on. It, it will turn on, it will work. What will trigger it is if my batteries get below 11.8 volts. They will top off the voltage when it gets, or it will stop when it gets a 12.5 and the top off run time, it will run at least a minimum of 45 minutes. Then I can set my quiet time. So I started that at 8.30 p.m. until, and I want it to end at 8 a.m. Then we have our chassis battery, battery auto charger. It's disabled right now, but we can change that and enable it. If it gets below 12.3, it's going to charge um, bridge connecting time is going to be a minimum of 60 minutes with a maximum runtime of four hours. And then you can set it to exercise um, your generator if you need to do that. And you can set the time and when you want to schedule that for. Water. This is where, again, I can see my tank levels here. I can turn my water pump on or off and I can do the autofill on and ready. And I can do on or off and top off now. Climate control. So I can control all zones from here, or I can go to the living room, the kitchen, the bath, the bed. I'm gonna go back to all, and then I can set the cool, auto, and heat, my daytime temperature, nighttime temperature. When I hit away, it will turn everything off. When I return, it will return back to the settings that I had it on. And then I can turn my um, engine block heater on here, if it's plugged in in the back and this is for my floor heat. So again, I've got three zones, the front, the rear, and the mid, and I can turn those on and set the levels right here. This is gonna control the brightness of my screen. And then this is gonna be configuring some of your system components, network diagnostic, monitor diagnostics, tank configuration, and you can view your AC power history. Custom monitor, monitor configuration, climate screen configuration, view logo, view clock. And you can test your touch screen here or reboot the system. Then we've got another little storage cabinet over here to the side. I like this because it'd be a great place to put like maps or books, um, travel notebooks, whatever you need there. And then we've got two more storage compartments here. So welcome to the living room of the 4579. This is a Ravina interior package with the Bermuda glazed maple cabinets. Aren't they gorgeous? So I love this interior. It's a little bit more on the neutral side, which I like because then I can bring in whatever color I want, whatever is my favorite color and personalize my coach, make it my own, but it's not gonna be dated. A um, few of the things that I wanna point out, we optioned in the Chase Lounge here with the Euro booth. So those kind of go together. That's how we optioned it. Now, the nice thing about that is you've got your chase lounge, you've got your sofa, you still have two recliners. So I can sit here in my company captain's chair and extend my footrest and watch TV. So it's really nice. You still get two recliners with the two sofas. So you have seating for a ton of people in this living room. So you don't need to worry about uh, your guest list. You can invite as many people as you want. <laughs> so speaking of being comfortable, let me show you this Chase Lounge. So you can just sit back. You've got the power lounge here. That's gonna come out. So you can just totally get comfortable you have a great uh, position here for the TV or just to look outdoors. I love this. And while I'm here, let me show you this control panel. So we've got our lights. So we've got our ceiling lights, our dinette lights, our overhead lights, accent lights, wall lights, and courtesy lights. And the cool thing about this is you can just, you can dim them 
and then it's going to stay there. So if I go to dinette lights, I've got those on all the way. If I go back to my ceiling lights, they're dim just where I left them. So they're going to stay that way until you turn them on all the way again. So I really like that feature. Then we've got our shades. So we've got our dinette day and night shades, our forward shades day and night, our back shades day and night, and our kitchen living room day shades and night shades. So you can control those all from right here. Makes it really easy. Your fans, we've got three fans. So we've got our kitchen fan, our half bath fan, and our master bathroom fan. And you can turn those all on and off from here. Um, you can do the rain sensor override. Say there's a little bit of rain, but you still, you've got the, the vent cover on there. You may still wanna run the fan, so you can do that. And then you can set it at high, medium, or low. And then we've got our systems. So this is really nice because you can turn on your water pump from right here. You can do the TV lift. So I just have to push this button. And there comes my 50 inch Samsung TV. And who wants to have a 50 inch TV um, without a nice sound system? So in the London Air, new for this year, they have the 700 series uh, Bose sound system in the living room. All right, and then we have our um, display brightness. So you may not want that super bright, especially if you're watching a movie or if you've got guests sleeping out here, you can go ahead and hit that until it's gone completely. When you wanna bring the screen back up, just touch it anywhere on the screen and it will come back. And right behind me here in the corner, we've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. Then I wanted to show you what we have. So we've got our Chase Lounge here. Center is storage. So look at that big compartment. I can find a lot of things I can put in there. <laughs> and way back in the, on the back wall, we have another 110 outlet. So this is a really nice option, especially if you have family members that love to like lounge out this way or lounge this way. It gives you a couple options with the Chase um, Lounge. Then we've got this nice storage in the overhead cabinets. So what I like that Numar does here is they don't divide the space. I like that because then I have access to all that space. I can get plastic containers or whatever um, that I can put stuff back there as far as I want and make it easy for me to get to. But I love that you have all that overhead storage. All right, couple things I wanna point out over here. First of all, you may be wondering what this is right here. This is your thermistor. You're gonna have three throughout the coach, so one for each room. And it basically communicates to the thermostat to keep the temperature nice and comfortable. Then we've got a 110 outlet and USB charging port. You can use this from the captain's co-captain seat when you're turned around or here. Captain um, can use it here in this recliner or you can use it here from the sofa, just nice and handy. Then we've got the little cabinets here for more storage, love that. And then we've got another display panel. Pretty much most of the panels are gonna be the same except this front one. Uh, when you go to the lighting, you're gonna have two options that you're not gonna see on other panels. So you're gonna have all lights on. That's really not all the lights in your coach. So it's basically your runway lights. So when you come into your coach, you can flip that on and you're gonna get your basic lights going through the center of the coach. And then when you go to leave, one of my favorite buttons, because I hate going around and trying to find all the lights that I have on, you just hit all lights off that does turn all your lights off inside the coach. So over here on the passenger side, we have our sofa and we've got a hide a bed inside here. I'll show you that in just a second. But before we do that, let me point out some important things. We have another light panel, switch panel, shades, lights, etc. here. We have our two 110 outlets and USB charging ports here and there. So on both sides of the sofa. And then above the sofa here, we've got our storage, and again, this is a header, just like you have when you're building a home, and it just is the quality that Numar builds in. Our AV cabinet. So it, we've got our Sony Blu-ray DVD player. So we have the inputs there for our satellites in the back of the cabinet. And this is where we can switch our satellite system because we have both the InMotion and the HD. So we can switch those there. and more storage here. And one of the things that I have to point out, cause it's like my favorite thing in the London air is the lights. Aren't those fun? I just love them. So 
Um, that's one of my favorite features of the London Air interior package. So you may be wondering how many people this gorgeous coach will sleep. So you're gonna get two here. You can have one full-size adult um, here on the chase, and then you've got the master bed, the king bed in the back. So you can comfortably sleep five people. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to make this into a bed. Take the pillows off. Remove the backs. This can add for a little extra support when you're watching your movie if you want. Then you're just gonna lift up and you'll see this black tab here. Pull that forward so you don't have to break your back. And there you go. This is your base. And then you just fold down the headboard here. Unsnap your air mattress. And then you've got your cord and a little spot to keep your cord. And then this is your button. So I'm just gonna push it up to fill, down to let the air exit. So, click it in and head up. All right, so there's our bed ready for our guests. And another thing I wanna point out that's really nice about this is that I can easily walk through the space between my Shea Lounge and my bed there. So if I have to take a pet out in the middle of the night or if I wanna sneak out early in the morning before my guests are up, I can get by them no problem. Notice the beautiful ceiling treatment that we get in the London Air, beautiful woodwork throughout this coach. And then down to the porcelain tile floor, beautiful floor. This year they've taken out the glass inserts that we had in 2020 and then they've just laid it in the brick pattern. So I just think it's a very beautiful floor. Also below this floor we have that come standard is the electric floor heat. So the electric floor heat is in uh, square like electric pads and basically if you have one pad that goes out they can determine where that is and bring up, up only that tile to fix the floor heat. But with Newmar's floor heat, it's a very consistent, very reactive throughout the coach, even into the master bathroom where you have the um, engine compartment, that's even heated this year. So if you need to get into that area for service, you can lift up that engine compartment and um, unplug it there, plug it back in when you're done with the servicing. And behind this beautiful ceiling treatment are our AC units. So we have three for the London Air. The great thing that Numar does when they build their coaches is their AC comes out of these beautiful ceiling treatments in the center of their ceiling. So when your slide rooms come in, your AC is still completely exposed. You're not cooling the slide rooms and then letting that spill over. So it's more efficient and it will cool the coach quicker. And then Numar insulates their coach so well that again, you're gonna keep your coach cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. All right, now to the beautiful kitchen of the 4579. Lots of counter space. In fact, you even have more counter space than it, it appears because we've got our extra counter space that you can just pull out there, push the button right underneath the cabinet or the countertop, and then this extends. And then check out the drawer space that we have there. And again, we have all soft closed drawers. And then when you're ready to push that back in, just super easy. And we've got storage here. I love that we have the adjustable shelf. A little space for spices up here. Our Whirlpool convection microwave oven. And there is no handle for that. There's just a little groove here in the side. So you can just open it that way. We've got storage. And I love the big pull-out tray that Newmar gives us. So we can get stuff to the back of the cabinet. Again, adjustable shelf. So if you want all that height for the tray, for the items in the tray, you can do it. You get to pick. And then we've got another cabinet, two adjustable shelves there. We also have our light panel for here in the kitchen. You've seen all those functions. We've got the LED lighting. We've got the two, the 110 outlet here, one in the center and one at the far end. So we have 
two, four, six, 110 outlets, and we've got USB charging point. We have the optional window that you have that beautiful view of when you're in the campground. And then we have the lovely backsplash and beautiful countertop. I just love the way they finish off the London Air. Then in our counter space here, we've got our induction cooktop with the covers and on the back side of those covers you've got cutting boards so if you're not using the stove you can go ahead and put those out and use them as your cutting space prep area for dinner then your true induction cooktop and if you want to cook that bacon salmon you know messy stuff outside this just simply unplugs and you can lift it up and take it outside plug it in outside to the coach and set it on the picnic table and you can cook out there Nice big drawer here for storage. I love the backspace and the dividers. Probably won't keep those remotes there. <laughs> and then we've got the optional dishwasher. So we've optioned that in. Nice big dishwasher. And then we have our stainless steel two bowl sink. Our residential faucet. A little flip down drawer here. And look at all the storage below here with the pull-out garbage can. Always like that. And you can tuck your sink slide or toppers just right into the side here. And then you've got the room for the other one. Slide it back in. Push it into its spot. And there you go. And we have another nice big pull-out tray. So you can use that whole cabinet. little drawer here. This would be nice for spices too if you label the top of them. Really easy to get to your spices that you use often. Same with this drawer here. That's what I'd use them for. But you've got lots of space to work with there. As I mentioned earlier, we optioned this co coach with a Euro booth dinette. This is really comfy. A couple things that I like about it. First of all, you can sit this way. Very comfortable for two people to have dinner. You can turn and since they've cushioned the side here, it's really comfortable. And while I'm here, if you look just behind the uh, window valance there, you can see that there's another 110 and, uh, outlet and two USB charging ports back there. And you've got a cabinet below the booth for some extra storage. Now, what's really cool about this table is very comfy for two, but we can make it for four easily. So you just pull this out. And this is my favorite little part that Numer made for us. The leg is right here, magnet. And then you just put your support leg out there. Super easy. I'm gonna bring in my leaves and my two folding chairs and you'll see how nice this booth will easily sit for people. All right, so here you have it. Easily you can get four for dinner, maybe a little bit more if you've got some little kids at dinner, but I just think it's super easy to make it up and to, you know, go from two to four or six possibly. All right, so we've got more storage above our dinette. Again, no divider. And then we've got another light switch here and Numar has given us a new wall clock for 2021 in certain models. And another bonus is that you have a, the storage underneath the booth on both sides. All right, so we have our Whirlpool refrigerator. You can see that that's nice, big, deep residential refrigerator and freezer with an ice maker. Gotta love the ice maker, right? <laughs> and a little trick. Something that I like to do if I take my coach in for service or if I'm storing it, I want to make sure that everything in my freezer stays frozen. So I just get a cup of water, I freeze it, put a quarter on top, and put that in the freezer. When I come back to my coach, if that quarter isn't on top, if it's halfway down, then I know the food in my freezer is, is spoiled and it hasn't been maintained um, it hasn't been frozen the whole time I've been away. So just another little way to keep yourself safe and, and not get sick. <laughs> I also love that this has water in the door. And again, there's an extra filter for the refrigerator water. So you're getting the full house filter plus a filter on the refrigerator when you drink that water. Then we've got our big pantry. And new for this year is the locking shelves. 
So you just push in to release and then pull. And full extension, we've got the lighting inside there so you can see everything. And these are adjustable shelves, so you can, you know, change them wherever you'd like them to be. If you want some taller ones, shorter ones, just make it um, personalized for what, how you're storing your food there. All right, as we head into the bathroom, just wanted to point out that we have our second thermistor for the coach. And I love the handles that we have for the bathroom. It's really no big deal when your slides are extended, but when they're retracted and you're going through a smaller space, it's really easy for some of those door latches to catch your um, belt loops and, and rip your jeans or whatever. So I like that because nothing gets caught. Then inside the bathroom, we've got great little half bath here, nice um, solid surface countertop. We've got our central vac vacuum and our dustpan. So we can just uh, hit that up and suck away all the dirt. We've got our domestic toilet with the push button controls. Drawer for storage, cabinet here for storage. And we have a cabinet here where we've got our toilet paper holder, lots of storage there. Now this is one of the things I love, new for 2020. Let me show it off here. We have our mirror lights, so I'm just turning those on. Aren't those beautiful? So you don't have to have the overhead lights anymore. This gives you really nice lighting. Great for us ladies that are doing our makeup. And then we've got the medicine cabinet here and two 110 outlets. They've given us a towel hook here for our towel, which is nice. And it's high enough that it's not gonna drag on the counter. I like that. <laughs> picky picky, huh? Um, then we've got this cabinet here. So this is our breaker box and fuses, um, our driver's side slide out uh, controls, microwave, refrigerator, basement bath breakers. Um, we also have all of our fuses here that are nicely labeled. And then again, Numar has given us the spare fuses so we don't have to look around for those. So um, very important, important cabinet here in the half bath. So look at this gorgeous master bedroom in the London air. I just love all the finishing touches. I love the balance boxes, the beautiful wood, the residential hardware. They just do a great job in this beautiful bedding. So this is all come standard. Um, I did want to show you that on each side, you've got a nightstand on your bed. And um, for those of you who's ever in charge of making the bed in the morning, you're going to like this. Look at this. You have space to actually tuck in your sheets and everything, which is really, really nice. Then you've got a little cubby here for storage. You've got two um, 110 outlets and USB charging ports on each of your nightstands. And then in the overhead compartment, we've got a spot where we can put like a CPAP machine, um, and we've got a cord area that we can thread that through here, which is really nice. Another nice thing that they've given us is uh, reading lights on both sides of the bed, and you can tr control those on the light panel under um, the cabinet here, along with the speakers, which you can turn on from underneath um, the cabinet there as well. But look at all the storage that you get. Again, no dividers and an outlet up front, up top here too. So you can plug in your CPAP machine or whatever you need. We've got our pillow top mattress and then we can easily lift up the base of the bed. For storage, I've got the extra lease for our dinette and our folding chairs there. Also, I forgot to mention on the folding chairs, Numar went, again, listen to the customer, and they put all the, the ultra leather that matches your sofa on the folding chairs, so they're much more durable. You can use those inside or outside the coach, and you're not worried, you don't have to worry about getting that fabric stained, so I love that. Lots of storage here. Here we have our third thermistor for the coach. Now let's go over and let me show you what we've got on this side. Right here, we have the slide out control for the bedroom slide. So you have your full wall slide that's obviously on one control at the front. And then this is for the bedroom slide in and out. We've got our light panel that's gonna give us the same options that we've had throughout the coach. We've got storage here and our AV cabinet above the TV. So our Sony Blu-ray DVD player and then our inputs for satellite, etc. We've got a 110 outlet up there. And we've got our 43 inch Samsung TV. Now check out all the storage that we have. So we have six drawers 
nice and deep and soft close again. I love that. Plus we have all this counter space that we have to work with. We have an emergency egress window in the bedroom here. Then we've got another uh, panel for our silver leaf system so we can control everything up front right here in the bedroom as well. And then another big storage cabinet above here. And then I wanna let you know there is a special button here. <laughs> so your power window awning for your bedroom you turn that on right here. So you wanna just maybe put things in plastic containers so that you can always easily get to that uh, window awning. All right, as we come into the master bathroom, lots to talk about here. First of all, we have a huge shower. So this is 50 by 34. Before we head into the shower, I wanted to point out the towel hook here, towel bar, towel bar. I love having places to hang the towel. So thank you, Numar, for giving us that. And love a couple of things first of all it's all tile so floor we've got the flip up um, or flip down shower seat which i love we have the handheld wand for the shower and the head which is adjustable also notice that we have the cathedral ceiling in the rear bath here so that makes it nice because it just gives you that extra feel of extra height in here and then we've got the aqua view shower miser so you've got the, your lever here Basically what this does is it saves water from your freshwater tank and you're not needlessly filling up your gray uh, tank. So what it does is when you flip this knot, this lever, then you turn on your water, no water will come out because it's recirculating through the system. It's warming up the water. It happens really fast. It says it's supposed to do it in less than, um, in about four seconds. So this will turn blue when it's warm. Then you go ahead, turn the lever down warm water will come out. Just work to the wise. Um, any water that's in the actual hose itself here and in the little line right here is still gonna be cold because it didn't recirculate. So um, you might get a little spurt of cold if you're not careful, but just watch out for that. But otherwise, this is really nice. Plus they've given us the three dispensers for our shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So you don't have to have any bottles rolling around in here. Just makes it really nice. And like I said, plenty of room. Remember, this is the 4579 floor plan. So we go with the single sink because we're gonna have that extra space that we get in our walk-in closet. So one of my favorite features, as I showed you before, are these mirrored lights. I love that because it's really good lighting for doing your makeup. And then look at this big medicine cabinet, huge. Nice and deep, we've got the 110 outlet inside the cabinet so we can just plug our curling irons, blow dryers, shavers in there and then just tuck them away when we're done also love the beautiful backsplash that we get with the london air again we have our light pad here and we've got a, another towel hook here residential faucets beautiful countertop and then check out all of our space here again with the soft closed doors and more space here and another 110 outlet. This is our emergency egress door. So really easy to work. First of all, if you want to, this whole balance will pull right off. It's clicked in. I'm not gonna do it for you, but it's super easy. I could just rip it off if I needed to. And then I'm going to unlock the door and just flip it open, remove the panel. All right, so you just take out the Velcro and flip the ladder down. Easy as that. We have the Dometic push button toilet. And then for the part I've been saving the best for last. All right, get excited. The walk-in closet, ta-da! Oh wait, <laughs> anticlimactic, I know, but there is one more cabinet here I wanna show you. You know, storage matters. So we've got a little linen closet here with adjustable shelves, gotta love that. Okay. Now for the ta-da moment, <laughs> we're here is the walk-in closet. First of all, I love, love, love washer and dryer are just in the closet area. Clothes don't need to come out of here unless they're on my body. Otherwise they're in the washer or dryer or hanging up. So I love that that's all together. Then check out the space that they've given us here. Adjustable shelves, cedar, cedar lighting closet. Nice extension drawers and 
and we're not done. We have this whole area back here, wardrobe, we can hang shirts. We've got our safe, uh, two 110 outlets, and then more drawers. Three drawers there. Then we've got the recessed shoe storage here. Nice space here, hanging bar, nether shelves, adjustable shelves, one, two, three, four adjustable shelves there. And then of course our Splendid washer and dryer. So I just love this. You have full access to all of your clothes. You're not having to go between the doors. Anyway, I really like this floor plan. You gotta come check it out for yourself. So I'm super impressed with how much space I have in the 4579 with the slides retracted. So I can easily get to my master bed. I can get into my pantry and I can fully extend those shelves. I can easily get into my refrigerator. Of course, I wanna make sure I lock that before we leave on our trip. Little, little uh, tip there. And I can easily get into my half bath. I could be working at the sink in the kitchen, sitting at the booth, working on the stove, lots of counter space here, lots of space to walk all the way up to my captain's chairs. So here in the cockpit, we have the great captain's chairs. These are super comfortable. We have a villa furniture throughout, so villa captain's chairs. And then we've got our control that we can bring the seat forward or backwards tilt it down. That's really handy for us that are a little vertically challenged when driving <laughs> and we can tilt it back. Then we also have the lever to recline the back seat rest. And then this is for us to extend the foot rest when we are not driving. Then on the other side, we've got the lumbar control. We've got the lever, which looks just like this one here, which is your backrest control. The lever on the uh, left side is for when you lift that up, you can rotate the chair. And then we have the heated seats where we can adjust the temperature of the seats. And we have the finger control for the armrest. So it's just a little lever right inside the ultra leather here. And you just move that up so that you can adjust that to the right height. All right, so let's go over all the controls here to the left of the driver. First thing that we're gonna do is the HWH computerized leveling. So these are our hydraulic levelers. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the coach in accessory mode. Now you'll see that we are in travel mode. I wanna go ahead and press auto level. And you'll start to hear the air go out of the system. If this was an excessive slope where we weren't able to level, this light would come on here. Once all four corners are lit up and it's solid red lights, then we know that we are level. And I can go ahead and turn off the coach and Jax will say down, we're good to go for as long as we're at the campground. All right, all four corners are eliminated and the system has gone off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the coach and we're set. Now, if you got an alarm for excessive slope and say you moved your coach and then you tried it again and it came up excessive slope again. And so you move your coach maybe to a new campsite and you wanna to try to level again. You might wanna wait, give yourself like 20 to 30 minutes before you cycle um, those jacks again, just because you can burn out that pump. So if you've done it twice, hasn't worked, give it a little break and then you can try to level again. Now I'm ready to leave the campground. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my accessory mode and I want to bring my jacks up. So I'm going to hit auto store and I wanna get back to travel mode. All right, so we're back to travel mode. So I can go ahead and hit cancel and I'm good to go. Here's the display for our Allison transmission. So we can go ahead and select economy mode. I can also go to reverse, neutral or drive. Then if I wanna check the um, transmission of health, I'm gonna hit the plus and the minus together. It's telling me oil level invalid, but I haven't been driving the coach right now. So you typically you would test that after you were driving. Oil life 
Filters okay. Trans health okay. No codes. And back to economy mode. So you can manually shift if you need to um, your transmission right here. So say you're going up a steep grade and you wanna go shift down to like fourth gear. So you'd hit the minus button until you're down to fourth gear. Now you're gonna stay in that gear. You're gonna have more RPMs um, to get you up that hill. So we have our tag dump. I'm just gonna always leave that in auto. Um, the only time that you would need that is say you needed, uh, you were uh, in mud and you needed that extra traction to get out. You would go ahead and dump, dump your tag at that point. Now you've got your engine brake. I always drive with mine on. When I'm driving something this heavy, I wanna have um, all the help I can get stopping the coach when I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on and on high. We have our two backlit drink holders, which is really nice. And just below here, we've got our auxiliary input and our USB input, and then another two USB inputs and a little storage space there. So this is the Kurt Spectrum Brake Control. This is an optional item. We've added it here to the London Air. This is for, you could control the intensity of the brakes if you're towing a stacker trailer or a big heavy trailer. So you can do it right here at the dash. Then we go back down here. We've got our bright and our dim. We've got our marker lights and our headlights. So we can uh, flash these three times to thank a trucker, trucker for letting us pass and we can flash that one time to let him know it's safe to um, come into our lane. We've got our dome lights, so those are the lights just above the um, captain's chair here. And this is our uh, intelligent high beams. So I can go ahead and have these on. Sam driving uh, on a road at night where it's dark, they will, if a car comes towards me, they'll see that light and they'll turn them off. So I can keep that on so it automatically comes on or I can cancel it, say if it's snowing or raining and those high beams are causing um, more glare than they are helpful, I can turn them off. Here's our auto traction control override button. This is the button for our power uh, window, driver's window, which is super nice, very convenient. Our air horn, I'm gonna always keep that on because I want, if I need to honk my horn, I need them to know I'm coming, so I want the big air horn. Um, this is our house and chatter, this is our house and chassis battery boost. Super, super important button. So the battery boost button is super important. Say you've been gone all day, uh, you were dry camping, you went into a flea market or something, come back and you can't get your coach started because your chassis batteries are dead. So what you wanna do is come over here and push that battery boost button. You wanna combine your house batteries with your chassis batteries to give you enough power that you can then start your generator let your generator run for a little bit and then go ahead and start your engine. So super important button and our pedals. So we can adjust the pedals forward and backwards right here. All right, just the below the dash here, we have a pedal to our left. When I push that, I'm gonna be able to adjust the steering column, the tilt and the telescoping. And then just next to it, you'll see this green button or green plug. So that is called the Deutsch plug. And that's where a technician can plug in to communicate with the engine and diagnose any issues. One of my favorite features is the cordless charging pad. So you just lay your phone down there, you see the green light come on and you're good to go. It's charging your phone while you're driving down the road. So this little silver lever here, when you pull that out, those are your hazards. And I've seen a ton of these on at RV shows because people will fiddle with this lever and then they don't know how to turn them off because you don't push it back in. All you have to do to turn off the hazards is turn on your turn signals, either left or right. And it's gone. We have our turn signal controller, obviously. And then this is where our cruise control is. So you just hit it on. And then if you wanna go into high idle mode, you hit the set button and then you'll see your RPMs go up. I'll show you that while we're driving. And then you can also flash your brights. All right, so let's go over everything here on the steering column. Now we've got a little toggle button right here on the left side, that's for our radio volume control. Then we've got our Bluetooth. So we can now hang up and pick up phone calls right here and we'll see a little phone come up and it will even tell us who the caller is on our dash. Then we've got our windshield wiper control. So we just got the high and low, and then we can set our own um, intermittent time 
by hitting this button, counting 1-1000, 2-1000, 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, 5-1000, 6-1000, 7-1000, 8-1000, 9-1000, 10-1000, 11-1000, 12-1000, 13-1000, 14-1000, 15-1000, 16-1000, 17-1000, 18-1000, 19-1000, 20-1000, 21-1000, 22-1000, 23-1000, 24-1000, 25-1000, 26-1000, 27-1000, 28-1000, 29-1000, 30-1000, 31-1000, 32-1000, 33-1000, 34-1000, 35-1000, 36-1000, 37-1000, 38-1000, 39-1000, 40-1000, 41-1000, 42-1000, 43-1000, 44-1000, 45-1000, 46-1000, 47-1000, 48-1000, 49-1000, 50-1000, 51-1000, 52-1000, 53-1000, 54-1000, 55-1000, 56-1000, 57-1000, 58-1000, 59-1000, 60-1000, 70-1000, 71-1000, 72-1000, 73-1000, 74-1000, 75-1000, 76-1000, 77-1000, 78-1000, 79-1000, 80-1000, 81-1000, 82-1000, 83-1000, 84-1000, 85-1000, 86-1000, 87-1000, 88-1000, 89-1000, 90-1000, 91-1000, 92-1000, 93-1000, 94-1000, 95-1000, 96-1000, 97-1000, 98-1000, 99-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 100-1000, 
and then I can scroll through my options. So I'm going to keep it at short. I'm going to press OK to accept and save that. So now it's going to be distance short. All right, I'm going to show you how to work the keyless uh, ignition. So I've got my keys right here. They need to be in a fairly decent um, vicinity of the, the start button. If they're not close enough, it won't start. So I'm going to go ahead and press it one time for accessory mode. And then I'm going to press it a second time for ignition mode. I'm going to go ahead and press on my brake and get a solid green light and start the coach. Easy as that. When I want to stop it, I'll just, I can press and hold or I can press the brake and hold. It will go off faster if I press the brake and hold. Let's go ahead and go over the screens here. These nice big displays, you've got to love that. So we've got our radio, media center, XM radio, Bluetooth, we can log in here. Our mobile eye, so that's our lane detection um, system, HDMI input, auxiliary input, our camera control, so we can hit that camera control and then we can decide what view we want. Do we want the front view? Do we want the side view, driver side? We've got a lot of action here at National Indoor RV Centers today, <laughs> which is always a good sign. But I can pick which view I want or I can go to my favorite view, which is my 360 view. So you can see all the way around the coach. You're going to be able to see this really well when we're driving and you'll, you'll appreciate that more. Um, also, it's an upgraded camera from last year, so it's better. Um, you're going to love that 360 view, bird's eye view that you get. We also have the hitch view and we can change those views to whatever suits our needs. All right, go back to our main menu. Let's go to our nav system. So this is where we can input our address, our destination, and it's a Rand McNally system so you can put in the, the height of your coach and all that good information. Then again, we can just go to cameras quickly from there. XM radio. And then we can go to settings where you can kind of customize your screen information. We have our front fan with high and low and off. This is for the fan if we had our um, furnace running with our Oasis system where we could adjust the heat coming out at us. Our overhead fans are up by our windshields. They're gonna help uh, defrost our big windshield and we have a high, medium, and low setting. Our docking lights, we've talked about those when we were outside. Super important to have those on when you're coming into a campground at night our courtesy lights and this is where we can start and stop our generator and this is where we can lock and unlock the entry door. Now this is the visor for the driver's side window which is the day shade, day shade for the front windshield, this is the night shade for the front windshield and this is the day shade for the passenger's window. And then we've got the controls for our heating and air conditioning so we can turn on our fan speed, we can recirculate the air, we can turn on our AC, and then we can decide which mode or position we want that air flowing at us. Then we've got our great little drawers here where I've got my keys stored, and another drawer for our miscellaneous goods, pens, paper, all that good stuff that we need with us. All right, just wanna go over a few things here at the co-captain's chair. First of all, and probably my favorite thing, is the passenger monitor here. So you can adjust that so that it comes out um, wherever it's best for you to view. But what's great about this is I can see the cameras the same that um, the driver can see. So I can go to camera and I can select what view I want to see. And I can go back to that bird's eye view. So I really like that. Probably my next favorite thing is the GPS. So as the co-captain, I can go ahead and put in our address, our destination. I can do all that. Driver doesn't need to worry about that. So that really makes this 
you know, captain, co-captain, a team. And I like that this is an option that you can have on the London Air. You can select what brightness you want for your screen. And then you can go through some of the same buttons that you have on your dash, HDMI, auxiliary input, your XM radio, GPS. So I really think that's cool. I'm just gonna move that out of our way so you can see the rest of our buttons here. And we have our patio light, which is also gonna give us our light at our stairwell. So keep us safe as we go in and out of the coach. My visor is going to be my day shade right here. And then we've got the step cover. So that's a safety that's a safety feature. You don't want to you don't want to get out of your chair while traveling and slip into that stairwell. It could be very dangerous. We've got our ceiling light here that we can turn on and off. And that's the main just, you know, uh, ceiling lights when you first walk in the coach and then our map light which is right above me here. Then I love this because we have our wireless charging. So you just lay your phone on there. When the green light is illuminated, it's charging your phone. We have our cup holder here that's backlit. And then you gotta love our little desk. So I can work on my iPad, you know, color my coloring book, <laughs> put on, you know, I have my cup holder here. It's just a nice little uh, workstation while you're going down the road. Just to remind you, you do have the two 110 outlets and the two USB charging ports right behind you. Just below the passenger's console is the fire extinguisher. So we can get to that if we're inside the coach or outside the coach. All right, so I'm excited to take the London Air out for a test drive. A couple of things I wanna mention. When uh, that exterior step, the HWH step that we set and locked in the out position, even when I've got it turned off so that it stays out, when I turn on the ignition and put the coach into drive, it automatically brings that in and locks the cargo doors. So just something to, uh, a little safety feature that in case you forget, it does it for you anyway. Now we're ready to take the coach out. Um, if you're a first time class A diesel driver, probably one of the things that's gonna feel most uncomfortable to you is where you start your turn. You've gotta think about that your turn starts with the center of your front axle. So it's actually behind you. We're all used to driving cars that have our tires out in front of us, our tires are behind us. So you don't start that turn until your center of your front axle is at the turning point. So I'll show you, you can put your nose out there further than you want to when you first start, but you, you've got these great mirrors. You're gonna be able to see your rear tires, see if you're gonna hit that curb. If you are, slow down, stop and adjust, it's not a problem. So I'm gonna also turn on my turn signal so I can see down the full length my coach, just waiting for the car to go by. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly start to pull out. As you can see, I'm watching my back tire. I'm gonna see that I'm gonna fully miss that curb. And we're off as easy as that. Now, another thing when you're first driving a Class A diesel is you kind of feel too big for your lane. You're not, you're gonna fit. Um, you are just going to try to hug the left side of the lane that you're driving in. If I heard it one time, I heard it 10,000 times when I first started driving a Class A diesel. Hug the left, hug the left, hug the left. Um, and I felt like I was, but for some reason, I always had a tendency to want to go right. Um, on the right side is where more bad things can happen. Street signs, road debris, bad roads. Um, so anyway, just hug the left side of the lane that you're in and you're gonna be fine. Another thing that you wanna do always is double check Make sure that you've got your engine brake on. Again, I like to drive with mine on high. That way, as soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, it's gonna to start to slow down for me. So as soon as I get to a point where I'm gonna be stopping, I'll show you how that works. But don't be afraid to come and take one of these coaches for a test drive. They really are a lot of fun to drive. I remember the first time I went on my first long trip, I was so nervous. Okay, I'm gonna head and slow down here. I don't, I've not even touched the brake yet. And I'm gonna have to like give myself a little acceleration just to get to the light. 
so it will really slow you down. It'll pretty much bring you to a, a, a slow stop. So, um, but back to my story. <laughs> so the first time I went on a long trip, my first long trip in a coach, I was nervous, nervous about driving in the city. Um, I felt like the steering wheel was like too loose. Um, basically it was just my nerves. Once I calmed down and started driving, I'm like, they're a dream to drive. They're quiet, you sit up high, you have this humongous windshield that you get to see this beautiful country through. Before I knew it, I was drinking my drink. And then I had to remind myself, oh yeah, I've got 40 feet behind me. Because you, know, you kind, of feel like, kind of feel like the boss, um, boss babe up here, sitting, <laughs> driving in this big coach and uh, large and in charge. So RVs are so much fun. The only thing you really have to worry about is ever being in a hurry. That's when you get yourself in trouble. Um, try to go too fast, try to get around someone. Don't take your time and make sure you're past that curb or that tree or that street sign. Um, that's when you get in trouble. And then just to let you know, if you ever do get in trouble, which I hope you don't, if you ever do get in trouble and you have a collision or a paint body repair, National Indoor RV Centers does that. And I'm telling you, when you spend this much money on a coach, we are the only place you wanna bring your coach for any kind of collision or paint and body repair because we are the experts, we know what we're doing, and we're gonna put it back to pre-collision condition. And we'll work with your insurance companies. Basically, you don't have to worry about anything. Let us take care of it, and we will do the work for you. Standard for 2021 London Air is the lane departure uh, mobile eye. So I'm getting a haptic response in my seat because I just changed lanes without signal signaling, something I wouldn't recommend you doing. I had an audible alarm and a visible one too with my mobile eye. So another safety feature that Numar has given you. So you've got um, collision mitigation, you've got adaptive cruise control, mobile eye, lane detection, um, and lane warning. You've got the independent front suspension, comfort drive. Let's see, um, I'm sure I'm missing something. So many things that make this coach easy to drive and um, really relaxing, great way to go on vacation. So another cool feature that we've added to the London Air is the universal toll module. So basically across the country, we have 127 different billing agencies or toll companies um, over 5,000 miles. Um, and so this universal toll module will work on all but in two states over 46 miles. So you have one transponder, one account, pay all those tolls. You're not gonna get late fees um, or charges from a toll company that you didn't even realize that you didn't pay. So really cool feature that we put on this London Air. And the little device sits in the center of your windshield at the very top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm getting on the freeway now, and I am going to, once I get up to speed, I'll set my cruise control, and we will be on our way. Can you visualize yourself doing this? <laughs> it's so much fun, I promise you. Um, it's a safe way to travel, you get to take your own home with you, you get to take your own bed and sheets and pillows, um, cook your own meals if you so desire, so you can keep things a little bit more healthy. Uh, you, you, you just got to come and try the RV lifestyle. That's all I can say. All right, now I'm also going to go to my 360 camera view. As I'm getting on the freeway, I want to really be sure that I don't have any cars around me, that I'm safe to enter, and that gives me great peace of mind as I, as I do that. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. It was a 360 camera. I knew there was another safety feature. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my cruise control. So I'm set at 63 miles per hour and probably everyone's gonna be passing me, but I don't care. <laughs> Again, you don't need to be in a hurry when you're in a coach. But it is gonna show me the following distance of the cars in front of me. And if someone gets in front of me that's going slower than I am, then I'm, it's gonna slow me down just like it does in the cars nowadays. So one of the things I always like to do is get a decibel reader of inside the cockpit when I'm driving, because this is so quiet. You don't have to yell. I'm not raising my voice. I can have a nice conversation with my co-captain or the kids in the back. And so my decibel reader is 66.7. 
So that's like being on a quiet street in a car. So super quiet, um, you're gonna love this. So one of the positives that I think will come out of this pandemic is that more people are working from home and those people that are working from home may find that they want to make their home an RV where they can turn this whole country into their backyard so they can be on the west coast for the weekend when they're not working or they can be on the east coast or they can be in Texas. Um, really there is no place that they have to be if they can work from home, work remotely, might as well do it in an RV. Come in and see us at National Indoor RV Centers. We'd love to have you take one for a test drive. We'll love to help you find a coach that's perfect for your budget. So thank you so much for joining me today for my walkthrough of the 2021 Newmar London Air, floor plan 4574. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. I'm sure you're wondering what this gorgeous coach would cost, or you may have questions about this coach. So MSRP is 748, 427. If you want to know what I can sell it to you for, please give me a call at 469-277-1120. If you have other questions about this coach, I'd love to answer those too. If I don't answer, make sure you leave me a message because I may be doing another video or helping a customer just like yourself. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. I promise it's gonna be the most pleasant buying experience you've ever had. We take in trades, we do financing, we do consignments. We really try to make it as easy as possible. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, go and check out my video on Retroband, our AIM Club, that's our all-inclusive motorhome club. We have tons of fun with at rallies with our customers where we really get to know you. We learn, we eat, we dance, we have fun. It's a great time, so make sure you check that out. Also check out my RVing 101 series. And also, if the unthinkable happens and you mess up or you get a little boo-boo on your gorgeous coach, make sure you check out our collision video and paint and body video. Thanks so much for watching with us today.